أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله وهو العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ونور to the family happy Wednesday night Dara inshallah we'll open up with a stock for Allah be he may Allah purify us of our sins known or unknown committed yet to be committed everything in between inshallah We'll do a reading of Sindidi, dear Sheikh Ahmed Upamba, by the recommendation of Sheikh Sufi Ba today, being the last Wednesday of Safar. And then we'll go into the text, Path of the Moor Siddiq, inshallah, pick up what we left off from last week. We pray everyone as well. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. dear Sheikh Sufi Ba. Dear Sheikh Zulu, dear Burundam, Bismillah. Allahumma salli wa salli wa barik ala Sayyidina wa malana Muhammadin. Wa alihi wa sabihi wa tukabal minili wa shikal karimi kawri ta'ibana lika bi astaghfirullah bihi. Astaghfirullah alihi wa tu ilayhi min zawahirin wa min gayu. Astaghfirullah alihi wa tu. Ilayhi min zawaharin wa min gayu. Sa'atu uba aki wa jirilahi. Makfiritan min jumlatil manahi. Tuktu lahu min jumlatil sada'iri. Ma'al kaba'iri wa min dama'iri. Afiru likfir kuli ma takadama wa ma ta'akara wa ma baynahuma. Wa himni al ilma wa zini ilma wa amalan wa adaban wa fa'ma. Rabbi alik shifil ulu ma nafiya wa jal ayati min jaka imaniya. Ik shifli al asra wa walga wa mida. Ya kaira man ka shifa siran gamida. Dijma jamiya ma tafara kalada. Katimina kari wa safil kalada. Likula da tafakul il azamaya. Rabbi bikun wa tasiman kalamiya. Habliya ya agramu fit talawa. Kairan katiran min kawal halawa. Mariku ya lahuma fi hayati, wa jafu adi wa tanal hayati. Abliya kani bishra kuli man ya atub, wa li zawahira bin mayal gayub. Ya bu lana kunu bihi ta'iran minal zinubi wa ma'asi wa afati. Hata al-ad kula janata la tibu ida muta kum bi rahmatika. Ya rahmanu, ya rahimu. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, salatu al-Fati. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad al-Fatihi lima ublika wa katimi lima sabaka na siri al-Haki bil-Haki wa hadi ila siratika al-Mustaqim wa ala alihi ya ka qadrihi wa al-Migdari al-Ajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, sindiri. Adiya sirin tubu. Qari masu. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We'll read from the Arabic and translation all the way through, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Di Allahu bil Mustafa sindi di Allahu wabi kalilika Ibrahim ya Allahu. Ya Allah, I implore thee by the blessings of Mustafa, ya Allah, and by the blessings of thy beloved Abraham, ya Allah. Wabi kalim ka Musa salihin kadirin wabi shuai bin wa Ishmaela, ya Allahu. And by the blessings of thy interlocutor Moses and Sally al Kidder, and by the blessings of Shuaib, and by the blessings of Ishmael, Ya, ya Allah. I mean, inshallah, if we're listening, we just say I mean when we come to the end of every verse, inshallah. Bismillah. Let's start again. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, who be Mustafa, Sindhi, Ya Allah, who, Wabi Kali, Liga, Ibrahim, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, implore thee by the blessings of Mustafa, Ya Allah, and by the blessings of thy beloved friend Abraham, Ya Allah. Wabi Kalim Kamusa Salihin Kadirin Wabi Shuai bin Wa Ismaila Yalahu. And by the blessings of thy interlocutor Moses and Sally Al Kidder, and by the blessings of Shuai, and by the blessings of Ishmael Yala. Wabi Sulaimana Nuhin Yunus Al Yasain Wa Zakariya Aya Yahuda Yalahu. And by the blessings of Sulaiman Nu Yunus Ayu or Job, and by the blessings of Zachariah Yahya Hud O Allah. Bismillah. Haruna Yasua Elayasin wa Adam Mada Uda Wazil Kifli Isa Luta Yalahu. 
and by the blessings of Aaron, Joshua, Eli, Elijah, Elijah, Adam, David, and by the blessings of Lul Keith, Isa, Jesus, Lut, and Yahallahu, Stakfullah. Wa Yusufin, wa bi Ishakin, wa gay he remu min an bianin, wa Rusulin, la ka yalahu, and by the blessings of Joseph, Isaac, and, and others among thy apostles and messengers, Yahallah. Wa bi Maliki, Turan, Tuma, Safwa, Tihim, Jibrela, Tuma, bi Mikela, Yalahu, and by the blessings of the unity of the angels, and those among them encompassed with the purest divine essence, such as Gabriel, Gabriel and Mikael, Ya Allah. Wa sihibi nafki israfila kabi diar wa hil kalika kalaiki Israel yalahu. By the blessings of Israfil, who is entrusted with blowing the trumpet in Azrael, who shall duly seize the soul of every creature, Ya Allah. Wa bi sahaba ti tumal awliya iman imaan Wal Ami Lina Manal Ahmari Allahu, by the blessings of the companions of the Prophet and the friends of Allah, as well as those who actively practice their knowledge among the people of religious authority, Ya Allah. Wabi Siddiqi Wabi Faruqi, Tuma Bizi Nureni Tuma Abi Siptaini Allahu, by the blessings of Abu Bakr, the truthful Omar, the distinguished, who distinguished truth from falsehood. Uthman, the possessor of two lights, and Ali, the father of the two grandsons of the Prophet, Ya Allah. Bimalakin Zilmazaya Shafi'i Abi Hanifa Teen Ahmad al Mahmoud, Ya Allahu. By the blessings of Imam Malik, the highly distinguished Imam al Shafi, Imam Abu Nafi, Abu Hanafi, and the praiseworthy Imam Ahmad ibn Anbal, Ya Allah. Bilahi wal Kalabil Mafusi to Mabi R. Shekel Shekel Athimi wa Bul Kursi Yalahu. By the blessings of the exalted pen and the preserved tablet, thy magnificent throne and exalted chair, Yalah. Wabil Kurani, Wabil Turati, to Mabi Dawuda, Jaabihi, Wa Ruhu Yalahu. By the blessings of the Quran, the Torah, the Psalms of David, and the Gospel of the Spirit of Allah, Ya Allah. Balik salti was taslimi alayhi lahu. Wa ahli was sabi wa aziwaji lahu. Transmit my salutations of peace and blessings upon him, the Prophet, his family, and companions and wives, Ya Allah. Wa aspalana lena rabi a fiatan wa habana kasta fi the rain, Ya lahu. Bismillah. O oh Lord, drop on us a curtain of well-being, afia, and bestow upon us our goals in this world and in the hereafter, Ya Allah. Waftalana kula babin kunta fatihahu li salihina minal kairati yalahu. Open for us all gates of graces that thou hast opened to those endowed with a complete state of piety, Ya Allah. Was look bina naja rushdin wakfi na zalanan zalalan. Waruja Naljina Wa Shaitani Allahu impel us to trot on the distinct path of righteousness, preserve us from the pitfalls, from the evils of the jinns and Satan Ya Allah. Wa Kamilan Kula Manan Mananhu Wa Naksuduhu Wa Hablana Kula Manataru Yalahu. Yield to us all our ambitions. Allow us to attain our objectives. Bestow upon us any grace we choose, Ya Allah. I mean, I mean, wa rudila, wa rudila la na kula bi sahbun wa thaharanin wa yasi rankula di tasiri yalahu. Yield to us all our all our ambitions. Allow us to attain our objectives. Bestow upon us any grace we choose, Ya Allah. Tawil lana umrana sahi lana bada badanan wahal lana rushta wa taufik yalahu. Prolong our lives, strengthen our bodies, bestow guidance upon us, and grant us felicity. Taufik, O Allah. Wadami ran kula a da in to dear rubina kabla wasulina leilahu yalahu. Wadami ran kula a da in to dear rubina wakab 
kabla wa suli la nal yallahu yallahu destroy any enemy whose intention is to cause harm before he gains access to us ya allah again destroy any enemy whose intention is to cause harm before he gains access to us ya allah ya allah wa kunna as i ma man min kuli malan malakatin Wanajina min balad yadara yalau protect us from all kinds of ruin, deliver us from the calamities of the world all the time, yala. Wa afatin, ahatin, ma gusatin, mi hanin, zalazala, tin, shidatin, wal farkiri yalahu protect us from epidemics, illness, agony, afflictions, vehement earthquakes, as well as poverty, ya Allah. Ihanatin, kelatin, Ma valatin galabin wa fakatin atashin wa juhi yalahu. Protect us from blemishes, insufficiency, from the fury of a tyrant, vileness, debility, hunger, and thirst, yalah. Wa fitna tin wal waba harima garakin wal barki wa ma sarakin wal kadi yalahu. Protect us from all forms of trials, from infectious disease. From being hurt in fire, from being drowned in water, from lightning, thunder, theft, and vain labor, Ya Allah. I mean, Bismillah. Harin wa bardin wa nabin kerbatin nikamin dala latin arajin walgami yalahu. Protect us from excessive heat and cold, from plundering, from oppression, from hostility, from delusion, from grief, and from being paralyzed, Ya Allah. Wahamatin wa kata ya dalatin. Zalalin wal maski wal kafi tumla kasfi yalau. Protect us from anxiety, from transgression, from stumbling and error, from transmutation and from defamation, ya Allah. Wagulatin majununin gelatin maradin tumal jutha meini wa nuksa ni yalahu. Protect us from slack of sustenance, from the influences of evil spirits. And from fading away due to illness, Ya Allah. Wa min kabihatin dunyan tuma akiratin. Wa min fuduhi hima yalahu yalahu. Protect us from the evils of this world and from the next, as well as their dreadful humiliations, Ya Allah, Ya Allah. Again, wa min kabihatin dunyan tuma akiratin. Wa min fuduhi hila yalahu hima yalahu yalahu. Protect us from the evils of this world and of the next. As well as their dreadful humiliations, Ya Allah, Ya Allah. Yaman ala kuli shayn kadirun wa ala arshilavi mista wa bilkari yalahu. O thou who hath power over all things, overwhelming the entire creation, being firmly established in thy magnificent throne of authority, Ya Allah. Ini sa'altu kakalban kashi an mutawa di an ma ilman kathira nafi yalahu. Verily, I beg thee for a fearing heart and a humble one, and extensive knowledge of tremendous you, Shala. Watawatan kubilat ma mik na tin rufiat ma zaujatin saluhat bidini yalau. I beg thee for an accepted repentance, a lofty station, a virtuous and pious wife, O God. Wakun mi izan lana min shari tahad desadin. Mashari famin wa sharil aini yalahu. Be our fortress against the evils of the possessor of envy, against the evils of the tongue, as well as against the evils of the eye, ya Allah. Mashari sirin wa sharil kalki in sihimu. Wa jini him wa tha wa tisami yalahu. Be our refuge against the evils of sorcery, the evils of the creatures, men or jinns, and against the evils of venomous creatures, ya Allah. Bismillah. Ini ja'al tuka fi dareni ya kafi hiznan hi saman sananfa kun mal jaya yalahu. O my confidant, I take thee in this world and in the hereafter as my inaccessible fortress, the one in whom I seek shelter, ya Allah. Fala sakil ni i la nafsi fa'a li la kakun mi ju muji baini. Hey, thu ma'ad uka yalahu. Abandon me not with my own soul. Nafs, lest I go astray. Be responsive whenever I beseech thee, Allah. Watch out the sani wal kalwi theki reka ma'an. In dalmamati ma'al imani yalahu. 
Cause my tongue and my heart to remember thee and hold a perfect belief in thee at the crucial moment of death, Ya Allah. Ya bi yakini, ya fikalbi bila wa jalin, hata uhiha bilika kalhaka yalahu. Establish permanently in my heart the knowledge of certainty, yakin. Let no fear abide therein until I passionately love thy ultimate encounter, Ya Allah. Walij alil mauta rahatin wa mafra hatan. Cause my death to be an announcement of good news and to be a complete rest and to be a protection against all pain, distress, and fear, Ya Allah. Shield my body against tortures in the grave. Whenever the soul is separated from me, let it not undergo any deterioration nor hardship, Ya Allah. O kun nasi ri anisi ena ma dafanu jis mi fasuta wa hi dantama yalahu. Be my assistant and companion at the time my body is buried in the grave where I may become lonely, Ya Allah. The tad mu mana ma ima kad yura wi uni. Balik fian kula ma akshay hu yalahu. Join me not with that which causes terror in the grave. Preserve me from anything that I fear, ya Allah. Wanajini waja mi al muslimi namaan. Wanaji walidati amina yalahu. Protect me, my mother, and all those who bow to thy will. Amin ya Allah. Wakfilana walahawas turma a ibana. While tooth bina, while biha fil hawli yalahu. Forgive us and my mother, cover our defects. Bestow benevolence upon us and her, protect us from terror, ya Allah. Anha taja was wa i yanar hamana fama. Laha si waka wa anta baru yalahu. Grant us complete forgiveness, have mercy on her. She has no one but thee, and verily thou art the kind one, ya Allah. Vi barzak in ma. Kabrin kunlana wazara wa min kurubin wa kalfin naji yalahu. Be with us in the barrier and in the grave, preserve us from any distress or any kind of fear, ya Allah. La ta tabir ha biha la sat bika diratin wa la tu kaya raja afika yalahu. Do not afflict my mother with that which she cannot bear and do not disappoint the hope she has in thee, ya Allah. Wa askina ma ha min ma. I kathari ma man ektataru min jami el kalki yalahu. Quench our thirst and hers in the waters of Karthar, which thou hast reserved for the only whom, whom thou hast chosen over the entire creation, ya Allah. Man kana yorshi du ta gain wa kuli wa yuliku ta kufrin wa yan suru man yaksha ka yalahu. That was he who provided guidance to he who roamed in error, destroyed he who rejected faith, and yielded aid to he who had innermost fear in the Allah. Muhammadin Matha il Akyari Ka Aidina, Bijana Til Kuldi Yao Malhashri Yalahu. Such a one was Muhammad, the fine flower of the elects, who would lead us to the everlasting paradise on the day of resurrection, Ya Allah. Alehi Wasalim. Da iman abadan wa man kafa hu li yaumi dini yalahu alayhi sali wa salim da iman abadan wa man kafa hu li yaumi dini yalahu alayhi wa salim di iman abadan wa man kafa hu li yaumi dini yalahu upon him be eternal peace and blessings forever and ever and upon any who follows him until doomsday, Ya Allah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Subhanahu ar-Rabbi Qurbili Zatim Yasifun. As-salamu ala mercilim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbi al-Alameen. Glory to thy Lord, Lord of might and power. He transcends what they ascribe to him, and peace be upon the messengers. Praise be to Allah, the Lord, cherisher and sustainer of all the worlds. Barakay Sreen Salihu. Barakay Sreen Salihu. Barakay Sreen Salihu. Barakay Sreen Salihu, Barakay Sreen Salihu, Barakay Sreen Salihu, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Adiyah Sheikh Sufi Ba, may Allah grant our entire Dara, 
friends, families, loved ones, all those connected joint to us, the blessings of this Sindidi, this life and the next. We thank you, Allah. Thank you, Allah. We thank you, Allah. Bar Gay, Serene, Sally, who? I mean, Ibrahim. Stock for Allah for any mistakes in that reading. We pray that Allah has mercy. Inshallah. We pray everyone as well. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. To the beloved family. Happy Wednesday, inshallah. Pulling up our path to the more Sadiq. Picking up from where we left last week, inshallah. How is everyone this evening? Same for everyone with us, inshallah. We're going to continue reading through. Pray everyone can hear us, inshallah, clearly. If anyone has any questions or comments, we'll stop in between. We'll give some thoughts on some of the uh, commentary. These words of Sheikh Ahmed Ubamba is translated by beloved Sheikh Abdullah Fami and our Sheikh Sheikh Sufi Ba. And we're just uh, going over our basics for Iman, Islam, Islam, Tasawuf, the path of the Moor Siddiq, the true disciple. And uh, we last left off, I believe, speaking on Isan. Briefly, can anyone here give a brief definition of what Isan was who was here last week? If anyone can remember what Isan is, or anybody have their own definition of Isan at this time that we can share before going forward? I'm not sure ours, inshallah. If anyone has any recollection where we were last week. Bismillah. Uh, I think Asan is the knowledge or the certainty of Allah. Of, uh... I mean, close, beloved. Um, the certainty, actually, that's the, that's the Yaqeen. Inshallah, but we did speak Yaqeen is, is a quality of Asan. And being in the state of Isan, inshallah. So alhamdulillah. Okay. There was a specific definition for Isan. If anyone caught it last week, we'll go back to it if we need to, inshallah. If you don't remember, wa alaikum assalam wa Bismillah, inshallah, uh, it's saying, uh, it's the sawuf. I mean, it is tasawuf, alhamdulillah. It's the, the essence of tasawuf, Sufism. Um, alhamdulillah, our, our, our Sheikh gave us a definition. He's saying Isan was the it's, uh, purity of intention, excuse me, purity of intention and sincerity in action. This is the definition given to us by the shape at the beginning of this sentence. A sign is purity of intention and sincerity in action. Inshallah, it's the uh it's the summation of excuse me, Islam and is an Iman when <clears throat> excuse me, performed and uh, uh combined together. It's the it's the outcome for lack of a better term at this moment of again practicing practicing our sharia which is the 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 fit of islam the jurisprudence the basic knowledge the, the way we practice our uh uh the way we pray um the five articles of faith excuse me of our worship five articles of islam excuse me six articles of faith is imam the five pillars of Islam. So combining the five pillars with the six articles, the practice and the worship, uh, brings us to a state of Islam, inshallah, when we incorporate the purity of intention and sincerity of action, inshallah. Let's just read Islam and go forward 
in the reading. And again, if anybody has any questions or comments, we'll uh we can stop, we, we can converse, inshallah. Bismillah Marine. Reviewing Isan <clears throat> is purity of intention and sincerity in action. Isan is to be certain that there is no action in the world and no intention in the soul that Allah does not know about. In this state, all of the acts of the worshiper will be according to the will of Allah. The worshiper is conscious that he is in the sight of Allah, so he does not, so he does only that which pleases Allah. Because of this, the Prophet of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Worship Allah as if you see him, and if you do not see him, know that he sees you. This teaching is found in the Quran, in the verse, and he is with you wherever you are. And in the verse, if my servant lacks, ask about me, I am near. By Isan, the, the worshiper has assurance that his worship is accepted. Iman and Islam are validated by Isan. When the worshiper realizes Iman by Tawheed and Islam by Fiqh, he becomes safe from, and hidden from apparent dirt. Let's go back real quick. When the worshiper realizes Iman, that is those six articles of faith, we spoke about the belief in Allah, the belief in the angels, the belief in the prophets, the belief in the holy books, the belief in the day of judgment, and the belief in the divine decree. And everything that comes with the belief in those six things, which is, like the brother said, this, this overall, the certainty of their existence and that they are within us as well. So to realize Iman by Tawheed, Tawheed is the, the knowledge of the oneness of God. That's Tawheed. That with Islam by fit, practicing our five salat, practicing the fasting during Ramadan and outside of Ramadan, inshallah. Practicing giving zakat and charity, knowing when and how to. The Hajj and foremost taking the shahada and affirming that Allah is the only being in creation. He is the only deity worth worship and that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a messenger. So, just so having the knowledge and the practice of these these two things is what validates the sign um, on this path. It says that when one is in, in a state of Islam, when the worshiper realizes Iman by Tawheed and Islam by Fiqh, he becomes safe from hidden and apparent shirk. That's shirk. That's the association of Allah with other partners and or putting our belief in prayers in something other than Allah that is, is outwardly and inwardly. A, a one who is in the state of the sun is saying is safe from the hidden shirk and apparent shirk. Alhamdulillah. Why does one think that is, just based off what we read in, the, in that first paragraph? Why would one in a sign be safe from hidden and apparent shirk? Anyone, inshallah. Stock flow. Bismillah. What was the question again, brother? Sorry. It said, why it's saying here that when a worshiper realizes Imam by Tawheed and Islam by Fiqh, that's validating Isan. That's coming into a state of Isan. When one is in a state of Isan, he is safe from hidden in a parent shirt. I said, what? So why would one think that, you know, why would, or how would we become safe from this hidden in a parent shirt once we reach the state of Isan, inshallah? Uh, Bismillah. Um, I think by the time by the time we perfect iman and Islam, and we going over to perfect Islam, when I think about shirk, I'm thinking about 
being a polytheist, trying to say that it's more than one God or something, something else is worthy of worship other than Allah. So inshallah was already secured when you when you did Iman. Inshallah was already secured, or at least starting to get secured around Iman when you start to understand who you have a faith on on in and who you relying on. Sharia should have really locked it in once you found out the five pillars and one of them being um the shahada saying la ilaha illallah. So then with the ishan, um it brings it it should bring those two together even more where you start to live your life as Allah is watching you because Allah is truly watching you. So at that point I hope that you you know what I mean like you on level three of of knowing a lot and getting getting close to a lot and you wouldn't you would you would try to keep yourself um you know uh free from free from shirk at that point because you inshallah you made it through the first two you know what I mean Imam in Islam I mean alhamdulillah did a Jeff Habibi we'll take that for five hundred Bismillah alhamdulillah. You said exactly that because you like you said you're certain that Allah is seeing you at this point when you're in that state of a sign it's nothing you there's no doubt in your in within oneself that Allah is in control he's present as present can be stock for Allah, it says his sign is to be certain that there is no action in certainty that there is no action in the world and no intention in the soul that Allah does not know about. So how can, if you you give it, you've, like you said, if you, you've covered these bases in Islam and Iman, then by this time, inshallah, we get to a state of Islam, is that you, you, you know that Allah is there. That's the whole point. It's to, it's to that, that will seal that junction with Allah. I think it'll it'll uh we'll read about in a minute. So once one comes into that state, you it it says is you're safe from hidden and apparent shirt because <laughs> stuck for like you're gonna be so worried about committing that shirt in the in a state of Islam. It's like you it's uh and I alhamdulillah for this class this morning and and uh it was but it was a quote that I came across while we were studying this morning has come from Iman Ashafi speaking about knowledge, those of knowledge. And uh inshallah we'll read and try to post it while we're reading inshallah real quick. One one second. But it's saying all humans are dead. This is from Imam Ashafi, Bismillah. All humans are dead except those who have knowledge. And all those who have knowledge are asleep, except those who do good deeds. And those who do good deeds are deceived except those who are sincere. And those who are sincere are always in a state of worry. Mm. We read about, we just actually sent blessings upon Imam Shafi and the other four in the Sindidi, alhamdulillah. We didn't even go into the Sindidi and the cornucopia of knowledge and, 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 and blessings that are in that text that are just ring Tuba. But he definitely was in a state of his son when he wrote those prayers, alhamdulillah. Let's talk flaws. It just felt like we needed to go back on Isan because it was so much in here. It's so much in Isan. And we can get hung up just on making our five salat. Or fasting before we even get to what is he son? Like, how can we? It's again, it seems like so much. But what it's saying, what is he son? It is purity of intention and sincerity in action. This is the sum definition. We've heard the Shek give this definition over his. Synthesis definition of Sufism or the state of the sun is this here, purity of intention 
and sincerity in action. Seeking to purify our thoughts, words, and actions. All intentions start in the thought realm before they become words and we speak them and actually act them out for it to manifest in the physical. So again, just that slight tip on his sign. Inshallah, we pray brings benefit on the rest of our Iman and Islam. Inshallah, because it's a it's a triangle. It's a trifecta. They're all working in tangent. Inshallah. Let's read forward. Bismillah. The worshiper enters into Isan by Tasu for what is referred to as seeking perfection through initiation. When the worshiper realizes all three of these, Allah makes him free from spiritual struggle and honors him with protection from sin. Immunity from disbelief is achieved by Iman. Immunity from disrespect of the Sharia law is achieved by Islam and immunity from self-glorification is achieved by Isan with purity and sincerity and action. Let's read that again. When the worshiper realizes all three of these, Allah makes him free from spiritual struggle and honors him with protection from sin. Immunity from disbelief is achieved by Iman. Immunity from disbelief is achieved by the belief in those six articles of faith. Immunity from disrespect of the Sharia or disrespect of the law is achieved by the practice of our five pillars of Islam. And immunity from self-glorification or Ria is achieved by Islam or the practice of purity and sincerity in action and intention, Stakfullah. The discipline of Iman is Tawheed or knowledge of the oneness of God. The discipline of Islam is fit in jurisprudence, the laws. The discipline of Islam is Tasawuf, Sufism. The definition of Tasawuf, according to Al Ghazali, is to purify the heart and to dedicate it to Allah without turning your attention to other than Allah. The first thing, a murid, also spelled murid when speaking of a disciple of Sheikh Amr Bamba. The first thing a Muwa should obtain is the knowledge of Tawheed according to the teachings of the Sunnah. Next, he should learn how to perform his personal obligation of worship by fit, learning how to make the Salat, learning the prayers of the Salat, inshallah. After this, it is if his focus is to obtain junction. Usul to the Lord, he should be initiated by a real master who follows the footsteps of the prophet, the Sunnah. This is now at one can have Islam, it says one can have Islam, I'm excuse me, Iman, but two Isan is coming from the initiation of a real master who was following in the steps of the prophet. The Sheikh gives spiritual education to the Muri through knowledge and worship. He teaches him by changing his actions of extra worship when they become easy and not difficult for the murid. The definition of irada, will, is that the murid should avoid conformity. The word murid is coming from the word irada, the will. One who has the will to do the will of Allah, to seek Allah, to seek the oneness of Allah and his satisfaction and pleasure. The murid should have no will of his own. He should put his soul in accordance with the will of Allah by observing Allah's command and con concentrating on Allah's attributes of kudra, power, potential, power, irada, his will, his ilm, his knowledge, hayat, his life, and sama, his hearing, and basara, basara, his seeing, and kalam, his speech. 
the observation of Kudra, power, and Irada will is to know that Allah has the power to elevate and perfect you like the Aulia, the friends of Allah, or diminish and humiliate you like one of his enemies. The way to observe Kudra or Allah's power and his will is to know that Allah has the power to elevate and perfect you just like the Aulia, just like the friends of Allah, or he has the power and will, ability to use his will to diminish and humiliate you like one of his enemies, stocks for Allah. The observance of ilm, knowledge, is to be conscious that Allah absolutely knows all about you, your thoughts, words, actions, deeds, and intentions. Not knowledge about how the flowers are made per se, how they grow out of the ground and how the stars are moving through the sky. With observance of knowledge is to be conscious that Allah, Allah knows his knowledge is all about you, all about me. He knows all about our thoughts, our words, our actions, deeds, and intentions. Allah's knowledge surpasses all that we can fathom stuff for Allah. The observance of Hayat, life is to know that Allah is eternal without death. The observance of Sama is in uh, stuff for Allah. The observance of Sama hearing and Basara seeing, seeing is to be conscious that at all times Allah sees and hears you. The observance of Kalam speech is to conform yourself to his orders and abstain from his prohibitions. Among the humans, there are believers in divine grace and justice, as well as disbelievers in divine grace and justice. Whoever wants to disbelieve, let him disbelieve. Allah gives his mercy to whom he wants. One part of disbelief is having a bad opinion of those whom Allah has gratified. Those who have this bad opinion have it because they limit the mercy of Allah to certain time periods and groups of people. Whoever really seeks the glory of both worlds should always be conscious of Allah, taqwa. Allah says in the Holy Quran, let me stop right there real quick. Does anybody have any questions or comments about anything we read thus far before we go forward? Bismillah. Just Allah says in the Holy Quran, the highest and most noble act, except for the highest and most noble amongst you is the most conscious of Allah, taqwa, or God consciousness. In the next world, after the mercy of Allah, nothing is a benefit other than good actions. Good actions are only accepted on the basis of taqwa. We've heard the phrase, let your, uh, 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 let your intention be the knowledge, be the leader of your action, or let your knowledge be the leader of your action. This, the importance of the, our intentions on everything we do, inshallah, but especially just making prayers. Um, this is any, any good actions, any good deed that we could think of doing, we, we, Pray we have again pure intentions first and foremost when doing these actions because it says that Allah only accepts those deeds who, that were done with Him in mind. They were He only He's only accepting deeds that were done with God consciousness with pure and pos positive intentions. So we can do things. They may they may have a benefit, but if we didn't put forth the intention. Peace be Allah for the sake of Allah, or just a, a firm, a, a positive intention before the, the act, then the deed was done in vain. Stuck for Allah. This is what it's saying. Shakam Dubama stuck for Allah. Allah says in the only Quran that He only accepts the deeds of those who have taqwa. The Moors should obey the orders of His shape. They should not spend their time in futility. They should increase their spiritual aspiration, Himma, to reach the Lord. They should always compete for good actions. 
practice sincere repentance and give a dia. A dia is not charity, but it is a gift. It was first given to the prophets and then the friends of Allah, the Waliyu the Awliya. A dia brings blessings, baraka to the disciple. The blessings cannot be rented, borrowed, or stolen. The blessings have to be earned. A dia helps the disciple find guidance and enter the paradise that is promised to those who have taqwa. The dia is a gift. It can be currency of financial gifts, but you also hear us as often as possible try to give the, many of these as many prayers as possible to the sheikh, to our friends, families, our loved ones, inshallah. And just we could do some zikr for somebody that could be in a dia form. That could be a charity, inshallah. Just saying, Bismillah Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The Muslim is between two boundaries: the boundary of the Sharia and the boundary of the Hakikat. Which is where we stopped last week, Inshallah. The boundary of the Sharia prevents you from doing apparent sins. The boundary of the Hakikat prevents you from doing hidden sins. The pure Sharia is the teaching from the revealed books. The luminous Hakikat is what is contained on the hidden tablet, the Lahu Mafus that has been revealed or not revealed in holy books. What Allah, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and I order is to be in accordance with the Sharia. There are three kinds of orders. Bismillah, the first type of order is from Allah by his books. This may be without an intermediary by the Quran or with an, or with an intermediary by the Sunnah. These orders are for your benefit. The second type of order is from an Arif, knower of Allah. These orders are for the benefit of both the Arif and the disciple. The third type of order is from one who has no knowledge. This type of order is for his own benefit and is damaging to the disciple. The Sharia and Hakikat. There are two types of believers. The first follows a guide and the second follows the traditions. It is not permissible to follow a guide who is not an Arif, knower of Allah. If the guide is an Arif, the one who follows him should never disobey him. The believer who follows the traditions of the prophet will be safe if he practices what the scholars have noted and does not seek to criticize or look for errors in other Muslims. The Sharia is pure and exempt from all errors, but all of the believers are not at the same level of comprehension or comprehension. The Hakika has immunity because it is fixed on the hidden tablet. But the masters have various degrees of understanding. The organ of Iman is the heart. The organs of Islam are the members of the body. The organ of Islam is the eternal, internal being. Again, the organ of Iman is the heart. The organs of Islam are the members of the body. And the organ of Islam is the internal being. The disciple has an obligation to respect all books of reference on Tawheed, Fiqh, and Tasawuf. The disciple is obligated not to seek for the singularity or unique blessing given to any of the elected masters that was not bestowed upon others. Whoever enters into the ocean of Hakikat without the shift of Sharia is unintelligent. They will never reach realization and bring benefit to the community. Pause right there. Stop. That was the section on Isan from the path of the Moor Sadiq. Inshallah. Were there any questions or comments on Isan? How anyone heard this information? Um, whether you know it was just any any anything needed to be clarified? Maybe you have it in your own words where you understand it but um to open up the floor briefly for questions comments on isan inshallah for iman islam any sign any aspect of iman islam or isan inshallah stuff allah
you know, just say I'm appreciative of this past. I went 30-something years not knowing that there was anything after Islam or that there was any other aspects to Islam other than what I saw or what was, you know, told to me. I knew, I knew of the Sunni and I knew the Shiite, but I didn't really know what a Sunni Muslim was or what a Shiite Muslim was. Stock for law. I didn't know what a Sufi Muslim was or any other type of Islam, let alone that there was is another aspect called Iman and then Islam, or that a Muslim was just one aspect, one state within the, the reality of Islam, that there were other levels to be reached and attained, such as the the mu'min, the one who's attained iman, and one and the musin, one who's attained isan, alhamdulillah. So we appreciate Allah for guiding us in this ocean, giving us the guidance of shape especially on this path to read these teachings. This is, these teachings are so condensed from Sheikh Ahmed Obama there to just like, if one was to read other texts from countless other Sufi masters and Islamic scholars, the information will likely be there. You'll probably get the same information somewhere within the, the three, four, five, six hundred pages of those texts, inshallah. And some of them are definitely shorter, but just the way that Serene Two were worded all of his writings and again made them to rhyme. This text probably rhymed before translated into English and was written in a way that no other Islamic scholar then or now has been able to duplicate. So again, we're just blessed, just, just emphasizing the blessing of us to be in this Dara, alhamdulillah. Bismillah, if there's no questions or comments, we will go forward some aphorisms we'll read on a dab and we'll read we'll read a few pages on Shakur and a dab inshallah Bismillah these are some aphorisms from Kadeem Russell Alhamdulillah to the Jeff that the truth is very heavy and difficult for some to support. It is like thunder and lightning. When it is heard, each person thinks that it will strike them. A dab often called good character or proper behavior makes the truth easy to assimilate. Whoever does not have faith in their heart is a disbeliever, a kafir. Whoever does not practice Islam with the members of their body is one who disrespects the law of Fasik. Whoever does not perfect themselves by Isan in their inner being is one who associates partners with Allah, a mushrik, and practices self-glorification, Ria. Whoever does not conform his thoughts to the Holy Quran will go astray. He will cry and regret it in the next life. Whoever does not show consciousness of Allah's taqwa by observing Allah's recommendation, avoiding his prohibitions, and does not benefit from the mercy of Allah by making sincere repentance before his death will be clearly lost in the next life. Bismillah. A dab. It says there are two types of a dab. A dab is manners and good character in the way of Islam. Bismillah. So the dab toward there are two types of a dab. A dab towards Allah and a dab towards people. There are four parts to a dab towards Allah. One by one, obey his recommendations. Number two, obey his prohibitions. Number three, be thankful for his gifts. Number four, have patience during trials. Again, four parts of a dab towards Allah. Obey his recommendations. 
avoid his prohibitions, be thankful for his gifts, and have patience during trials. There are three parts of a dab towards people. Honor those who deserve honor. Be subtle with those who debate with you. Let those who do not deserve honor or debate with you follow their own way. Adapt towards Allah according to his recommendations and prohibitions. The first aspect of adapt towards Allah is repentance, tawbah. Repentance is to immediately stop doing all that is prohibited by the Sharia and to sincerely regret all bad actions, words, and false beliefs. The Marines should, only, should purify themselves by not telling lies, talking bad about others, and looking at or touching forbidden things. After the accomplishment of repentance, a murid should conform himself to the recommendations of his spiritual guide that will only recommend the best for him. The murid should not have any inward or outward apprehension in trusting their guide. The only objective of the sheikh is to guide a disciple to paradise and prevent them from going to hell. Bismillah. Says the five qualifications of actions according to the sharia. As far are the obligatory acts. Mandu, the recommended acts. The mubah, the permissible acts. Makru, the disliked acts. Haram, the prohibited acts. It is necessary to perform the obligatory acts on time. It is not necessary to seek permission to perform obligatory acts. Recommended acts are the acts according to the actions of the Prophet, or this peace be upon him, or his Sunnah. You do not need permission to perform those, them. Permissible acts that help to perform obligatory and recommended acts should be performed. The acts that do not pertain to obligatory and recommended acts are considered by some to be a waste of time. The disliked and prohibited acts should be stopped immediately. You do not need permission to stop them. This is a dab towards Allah by obedience to his recommendations and avoidance of what he prohibits it. Bismillah. Briefly on that, those, the far acts such as the wudu before making salat. That's an obligatory act. A, a sunnah act in the wudu would be to do the wudu three times, but it's not something that's obligatory. They said it's recommended by the sunnah, but if one doesn't do it, it's not going to hurt. The worship or it's not going to uh, uh, invalidate the voodoo at all when going to make or the salat when going to make prayer inshallah there are many acts in many uh, books of sunnah that we can find um, that this prophet has done whether it be doing things with his right hand uh, uh, you know, always eating with his right hand or walking into the home on the right foot, walking into the bathroom with the left foot. Um, so many, literally thousands of, of, of sinner acts that we can incorporate into our obligatory acts, but they're not, or alongside, but they're not mandatory. This is just the way to show adapt towards Allah by trying our best to abide by the obligatory and inshallah if we can incorporate anything permissible and recommended and stay away from those that are disliked and prohibited. Um then we're in a good we can be, be in a good space, inshallah. Saying thankfulness, shukur. Thankfulness to Allah is to know that all, all gifts are from Allah. 
when the gifts are appreciated and thankfulness is shown to Allah for the gifts, the gifts will endure. If you attribute the gifts to other than Allah, the gifts will be fleeting. We should have an attitude of thankfulness, shakur, for the generosity and benevolence of Allah. We hear it all the time, an attitude of gratitude at all times, inshallah. Allah says in the Holy Quran, if you are thankful to me, I will give you more. In Sahih Muslim Hadith, the Prophet, peace be upon him, explains more to mean the contemplative vision of Allah in paradise. Thankfulness prevents one from having to account for his actions in this world and the next. It prevents you from going to hell. In the Holy Quran, Allah says, few of my servants are thankful. In fact, being thankful for the gifts of Allah is only possible to those who have Isan. It says, in fact, being thankful for the gifts of Allah is only possible to those who have Isan. Allah speaks about them in the Holy Quran when he says, those who perform and perfect their acts and deeds will obtain the best and more. Allah gives blessings, barakah, to the one who performs acts of thankfulness. The blessing is the fruit of the taqwa and good character, adab. Whoever has taqwa and has good character will receive outward blessings, inward blessings, or both outward and inward blessings. Bismillah. Anyone have any comments on shukr, thankfulness? That was that was pretty deep explanation on how to be thankful to Allah, what comes with that. Any questions or comments? Not, I'll just say that I it's is the emphasis on being thankful throughout the Quran and our teachings from the Sheikh is that it just makes us reflect, you know, to that, that Alhamdulillah when we say all praises or all praises to Allah. Uh, uh, there are so many things to be thankful for if we just put ourselves in that state of shukr if we find and it, it could it could be this for that breath that last breath we just took thank Allah somebody didn't get to take that somebody didn't get that somebody didn't wake up this morning somebody's not gonna wake up tomorrow morning you know, these are cliche things to be thankful for, but if we are truly sincere for that meal we had today, it might have been whether we had one meal or three. Whether we didn't have, we may not have had a meal today, but we had one yesterday. Alhamdulillah. Just finding a reason to be thankful and staying in a state of thankfulness and shakur opposed to focusing on anything other than something to be thankful for. It's powerful. It has more power. It says the blessing is the fruit of taqwa, the fruit of God consciousness, and good character, adab. The sheikhs, they say, Alhamdulillah for everything. Alhamdulillah, if it was something we thought was good, Alhamdulillah, something we thought was bad. We never, Allah is the best of planners. We don't know what. I know we just, you just stubbed your toe. Stuck for law. I just did it today. I stuck for law. I had to catch myself. Trying to at least, alhamdulillah, just even in those moments, you might bump your knee on the bedpost or anything. Ah, stuck for la. Ah, la wakbar. <laughs> Can we bring ourselves to a state to even to be that to be thankful for a lot for those things for the flat tire, for spilling the coffee on ourselves before we go into work. This is this is this is some of the challenges 
just every day. But inshallah, maybe maybe look and see these things as opportunities to get closer to Allah, inshallah. Bismillah. It says showing patience during trials. Showing patience during this is Sabur. Ah, there is just Sheikh Fatima for speaking on Sabur. It says showing patience during trials demonstrates one of the highest virtues. Allah says in the Holy Quran, we will test you by fear, hunger, wealth, sickness, and material goods. Give good news to those who are patient. The best patience is in the observance of obligations and the avoidance of prohibitions. The best patience is in the observance of obligations and the avoidance of prohibitions. Some of the wise predecessors have said that only those who are patient in the face of harsh treatment from others without inward or outward retaliation for the harsh treatment have true patience. Again, it says some of the wise predecessors have said that only those who are patient in the face of harsh treatment from others without inward or outward retaliation for the harsh treatment have true patience. It's heavy. Oh, I thought you thought you had a comment, Shake Stuck Fly. Um Stop yeah, Allah, Shake, it's like a bomb when you just spoke on true patience is in the face of harshness, harshness, and you have no inwardly or out retaliation. I was like, bomb is blue, exploded in my head. No inward like or that's like, outward. That's like, it made me think about granny teaching she gave us from Issa, Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him growing up. Um, when would Jesus say, we didn't think something, you already done sin. When I was young in Sunday school, it's like, as we got older, fast forward into the now, I used to wonder, like, wow. At least I didn't do the wrong, but then when I start understanding mentalism, before you even thank it, before you even thank something, you think something before it even manifests. Mm -hmm. So we can outwardly put on a mask and say, well, okay, I'm not going to say nothing back. But if deep in your heart, you like saying to yourself, yeah, that rah, 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 rah. It's just going to come back on you seven times. And mm -hmm. something you don't like within them really is something we don't like within ourselves. Because really, we all want is just a different aspect of the only reality. Allah. Salaam. Mind me. Yeah. Peace. Like, it was like a bomb, actually, boom, like this, like earlier today, earlier in the rewind, come again. That was, rewind and select them. Yeah. Rewind. Oh. Dean Rasul be, wow. I'm lost. Good, thanks. Look, I, what, I, 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 I said, I won't even going to say nothing. I'm just going to listen. Did you speak? Now, I'm glad you did, Shay, because I stuck for a lot. It just, I got a segue now because we see retaliation and you know, we know we got a thing for Rabibi, my Yah man, Yah Rahim. And on the eighth verse, this is the one that Serene Sally, who recited three times, it said, Yah Malik al Mukia, O King of the Worlds, Manjala and Kawadin, you are above all retaliation. Now, we didn't sat on this line some time before, Sheikh Sally. We didn't talked about this and Allah being the King of the Worlds and being above all retaliation and then when I've just seen it just now you were speaking without inward or outward retaliation what other type of retaliation is there other than inward or outward for the harsh treatment is it it's that true humility like at the end what we say give us true what the science was sincere the sequence of love gratitude mm -hmm. Stop a lot for cake, but yeah. Because it's funny I'm you said that. before class started, or maybe about 10 minutes in the class, I had um went off and read Y'all Rock Man Y'all Rahim right quick. It just that's I was like, wow, you bring Y'all Rock Man Y'all Rahim. I remember you mm -hmm. yeah, you thought on Y'all Rock Man Y'all Rahim classes, yes. Yes. 
be stuck on that line for a while. Yeah, to be a, to be above retaliation. You said, why? What's what is it about? Again, the mercy of Allah. We talk about patience right now. The patience. The Shaker said, patience just incorporates so many elements or attributes of Allah within it. And to truly be patient is uh I remember I remember Sheikh Wali saying that patience is is it's without complaint. He said it's a, 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 a endurance without complaint. For sure. Oh, Alhamdulillah. Kunkati man, alhamdulillah. To be patient, to be is to endure these things without without complaining, inwardly or outwardly, without lashing out inwardly or outwardly. Again, may Allah strengthen us in these in these things because we it's it's almost become a, a, a hardwired into our nature. Like the Sheikh says, we have to rewire our our ourself. You know, we've it's been a long time. <laughs> we've been programmed a certain way. It's going to take some rewiring. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some practices and some practice with the practices, inshallah. You're right, Jake. Oh, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say the other day, I was getting coffee and a brother said, how you doing, brother? I say, I can't complain. I say, matter of fact, I don't even want to hear my inner self complain. Hmm. So I'm working on it. I'm like, I don't even want to hear my inner man complaining. Right. Oh, stock for law. You, you got some, Abibi? Stock for law. Mashallah. Y'all, I love that. I love that shit. Yeah, I don't even want to hear my inner self complain. <laughs> and I, I was going to, I was going to add, because, um, yeah, when we was going over Abibi, my Yashrahu, we was going over that one. And we was picking out those lines. That one, like being above retaliation, Allah's above retaliation was always like a heavy one to me. And it just made me feel like super safe. You know what I mean? And it, it made me feel like I ain't had to take retaliation or, you know, be patient during during trials because of, it's all in Allah's hands, truly. So mm. it made me also think about this um. This like story, and it's not verbatim, it's not word for word, but I, I think I'm gonna get the point across, inshallah, about Sheikh Ahmed Tijani. And he um let's just say like he was in his village or something, and it was maybe a person like a neighbor or something like that, like a neighbor or like somebody that he had to interact with daily, like that him and his community had to interact with daily, and maybe they weren't really favorable, like maybe they didn't really you know, he was a rough person to get along with, we we'll say, like, that person was rough to get along with. And I guess he passed away. And then um, the disciples, uh, Sheikh Ahmed Tijani, was like, yeah, kind of like, oh, man, we finally, you know what I mean? Like, that dude was giving us a rough time. And then um, Ahmed Sheikh Tijani was like, in so many words, he was like, um, you know, don't, like, let's not, let's not put that type of energy out there, like, Let's just say that our trial with him is done. That's what he's saying. Like, maybe the person didn't even die. Maybe they just moved away. But he was like, the trial with him is over. Like, he endured all that. He endured that person for for a while. And then immediately, you know, his disciples was like, uh, out loud. Like, you know how they feel. Wow, man, I'm, I'm glad that dude's giving us a rough time. Like, I'm, and Sheikh Tijani was like, nah, like, let's not even go there. Like, let's not even be like, yeah, yeah. He said, I, just our trial is over. You know, I, the trial is over. Like, that's that's it right there. Like, it's more coming, but that trial is over. You know what I mean? He didn't say, yeah, I'm I'm happy that it's over. He's just like, it's just over. You know what I mean? So that's that's what I thought about um, for that. I don't want to share that story, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Shake the Shake Mustafa, Habibi, and family. I'm not a muhadif. I ran scrolling, stuff a lot for scrolling on my phone, but they say what you look at, that the algorithm popped up and a 
I just <laughs> popped up earlier today and said, um, the prophet, peace and blessings be upon him. Um, <clears throat> um, during the time of war, they had said that um, it was a woman that was nursing. And when she would see the prisoners of war, she would, um, and if they were children, she would take them and nurse them. And to make a fast forward, Zalman would word for word at the end and say, would this mother the prophet peace and blessings be upon him? The companions had asked him something. And he say, would that mother throw her baby into hell? And I was thinking to myself, she would nurse another children. And it would say, Allah's rock mine. It's greater mercy, greater than that. And I, when Habibi gave his example, it made me think of that because he was speaking of um, Sheikha Fatima Asura, how she beautifully explained Sabir. And we jumped to her rock mine. So I just wanted to get that last example of rock mine from Prophet Muhammad al Hadi that I ran across today scrolling. I mean, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah to the family indeed, Peter Jeff Shake. An ocean. We're in the ocean. Alhamdulillah. We're in the ocean right now. Bismillah. We'll uh try to finish this chapter before we close for the evening. Inshallah, coming up on an hour and a half. <clears throat> I appreciate the comments, participation, alhamdulillah. Bismillah it says. Some great Sufi masters say that Allah will test the true believer in order to in order to purify him until he walks on the earth without sin. One day the prophet Moses, peace be upon him, passed by the dead body of a man who had been eaten by an animal and he recognized the face of the man. Moses stopped and said to Allah, O Allah, this man was a good man who obeyed your commands. What happened to him? Allah revealed to Moses, O oh Moses, he asked me for a level that he could not reach by his own acts. So I gave him this trial to make him reach his objectives. The consensus of the great masters is that those who complain to other than Allah for their trials will lose the sweetness of their worship. According to the traditions, Allah revealed to the prophet Esra, peace be upon him, that if you receive trials, be careful not to complain to the creatures and be with me like I am with you. I never complain to my angels when they bring me your bad deeds. So never complain to my creatures when you receive trials from me. Allah revealed to the prophet David, peace be upon him. Oh, David, if you submit to all that I want, I will give you all that you want. If you do not submit to all that I want, I will make it difficult for you to get what you want. And in the end, it will be as I want. Oh, David, be patient with the divine decree. You will receive the assistance of Allah. One of the prophets of Allah complained to him about a trial. Allah revealed to him, how long will you complain? I am not worthy of your complaint. Your situation was decreed in the unseen world. You want me to change the world for you? You want me to change what is written on the hidden tablet? And do you and do what you want in place of my will? Now, stop. I got to read this again. Because the first time I read this, I was, I was bugging out a little bit. Just imagining <laughs> the stock for the prophet receiving this this uh this message from Allah stock for Allah it says one of the prophets of Allah complained to him about a trial Allah revealed to him how long will you complain I am not worthy of your complaint your situation was decreed in the unseen world you want me to change the world for you you want me to change what is written on the hidden tablet and do what you want in place of my will in order to please you and not please myself I swear by my glory, if you conceive something like that in your heart again, I will take the mantle of prophecy from you and throw you in the hellfire without consideration. This was a lesson to that prophet. Bismillah. I just had to pause there. Again, referencing when speaking of uh, patience, it can't go without speaking on again how we endure these trials and not complaining or if we do complain bring our complaints straight to Allah and not to the creatures Alhamdulillah that last paragraph hit so strong the first time you read it 
talk about atom bomb, atom, an atom bomb, stock for law. We'll read to page 75. And we'll close for the evening. Bismillah. Alhamdulillah, Ijala just posted by Bibi Ma. Alhamdulillah. It says, a dab with people. There are three aspects of a dab, good character towards people. A dab towards spiritual people who seek for the next life, the akira. A dab towards materialistic people. And a dab towards the knowers of Allah. A dab towards spiritual people demonstrates knowledge and practice. If they see someone who is not seeking for knowledge or practicing the recommendations of Islam, they blame them and consider them unconscious and untrustworthy. If they see someone who seeks for knowledge and practices the recommendations of Islam, even though his inner being is not focused on Allah, they trust him and give him consideration. The spiritual people should see the manifestation of the basic recommendations of Islam in you. You should demonstrate this outwardly to please Allah and bring the heart of the believers together. Remember that religion is good advice. I thought that was that was heavy when I read that. Religion is good advice. And let's read that. This is one real briefly. What is it saying on the adapt towards spiritual people? And who, and who are spiritual people? These, I, these could be the all those who we may see in the mosque in our travels or if we're still in in may travel through a church uh anywhere any a uh, 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 a hindu temple anywhere we may be where there's spiritual people says that they are looking if they see someone who seeks for knowledge and practices the recommendation even though his inner being is not focused on allah they will trust this person and give him consideration If they see someone who is not seeking for knowledge or practicing the recommendations of Islam, speaking just about Islam right now, then they blame them and consider them unconscious and untrustworthy. They're only going off what they see outwardly. What they're saying for the sake of Allah's pleasure, that we should demonstrate outwardly the basics of, the, of our deen, the basics of, of our Islam. said the manifestation of the basic recommendations of Islam in you, the spiritual people should see. And you should demonstrate this outwardly to please Allah and bring the hearts of the believers together. So it's not to cause any division. You want to try to fall in the lines and this is practicing good adab towards the spiritual people, inshallah. Remember that religion is good advice. With materialistic people, it's people of the world. A dab is using wisdom to gain their satisfaction without disobedience to the orders of Allah. How can we gain their satisfaction without diso disobeying the orders of Allah? Both Allah and people are satisfied when someone satisfies people without dis disobedience to the recommendations of Allah. Whoever pleases people and violates the recommendations of Allah, Allah will be displeased with them and remove their faith before death. They should repent for their actions if they do not want to lose in this life and the next. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, we should not obey anyone whose recommendations go against the orders of Allah. With knowers of Allah, Arif Bilah, Adab is to believe in them and to have good opinion of them without being suspicious of them. If you doubt... If we doubt, we are out. The knower of Allah has no focus other than Allah. If someone does good in front of him, he will not react in a way to make the person feel proud in order to corrupt his good act. If someone does something bad in front of him, he will not condemn them. He will correct them in a subtle way that will not create despair in the mercy of Allah in him. Bismillah. We'll stop there and we'll pick up next week with the wisdom of Karim Rasul.
and this uh this poem. Oh yeah, we're going into the nafs. Talking about Baka. Oh yeah, they, the shakes the shakes went in. The shakes definitely went in on the path of the Morris the deep. on just about everything that we need on this path to seek the righteousness of Allah and realization of his oneness, inshallah, and that oneness within us. Bismillah, was there any questions or comments from anything read this evening? I pray that the read was smooth and uh could be understood bismillah um i just want to want to say thank you and uh like yeah i was just talking about the morning class i really appreciate the morning class and um uh, man i didn't even know you was gonna hold this one until i just saw it in the whatsapp and i'm just like my man's just holding it down i appreciate it because it just felt like I'm just having some coffee with y'all. We just reading, reading, you know what I mean? But we don't, we don't often gather to talk about Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Sheikh Ahmed Obama. You know, you know that's that's not an everyday thing over here in the West all the time. So it's just real, man. Anywhere for real. I appreciate y'all for just holding the space. Mashallah. I mean, I'm really glad. That is Jeff Sheikh Sufi Ba for giving the Indigo and the Jaza allowing us to do so in all praises. That is Jeff Serene Tuba, Sheikh Far, most definitely for being the lights on this path, more dear in the West. Alhamdulillah. We are truly grateful. We appreciate every comment. Inshallah. These and we 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 definitely hope that, you know, as we continue to grow and we have these discussions on Zoom, that uh, you know, we can expound more, the more of us that are here and just give give uh, you know, any type of insight to our experience on the path, inshallah. Um, the Sheikh says the believers are mirrors of each other, alhamdulillah. So, and the more, the more we come and stay around each other, inshallah, we pray that Allah continue to just lift us all, lift us all, raise all of our stations, that which we can, we can all see him and move in his will, inshallah. Um, yeah, all praise on the love. No questions or comments because the Kufitu, inshallah. And we'll come back next Wednesday, pick up where we left off with the wisdom of Kadim Rasul, that is just ring too. I just want to say, Shakran Allah, give thanks. It's like, check that beat. I mean, that is just shake, that is just shake. I mean, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Ar Rahman Rahim. Maliki Yomudini, Akna Abuduwa, Yakna Staini, Kina, Sirata Mustakim, Sirata Ladina, Ramta, Lay him, Gaira Magdubia, Lay him, Walla Do. I mean, Salatu Fati Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad al-Fatihi li ma'ublika wal-Khatimi li ma'sabaka nasir al-Aqib al-Aqib al-Hadi ila siratika al-Mustaqim wa ala alihi ya kakadrihi wa midari al-Adin Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Kufitu Kaf ha ya ayin sod Kaf ha ya ayin sod Kaf ha ya ayin sod Kufi tu kula dirari ni lahu bisiri la ilaha la lahu abli muradiya kama awahu bisiri la ilaha la lahu yasiri alusra kama awahu bisiri la ilaha la lahu 
ala nabiy mustafa ilahu sabbi la ilaha illahu salata mugni ni salam alai bisiri la ilaha illahu sapana do mukhi malakuti sapana do rizati wa jabruti sapana la hayala di la yamutu subuhun kudusun rabu malaikati wa ruh La ilaha ha ila anta subhana ka ini kuntu mina dalamin la ilaha ila anta subhana ka ini kuntu mina dalamin la ilaha ila anta subhana ka ini kuntu mina dalamin la ilaha ila anta subhana ka ini kuntu mina dalamin la ilaha ila anta subhana ka ini kuntu mina dalamin la ilaha ila anta subhana ka ini kuntu mina dalamin la ilaha ila anta subhana ka ini kuntu mina dalamin la ilaha ila anta subhana ka ini kuntu mina dalamin la ilaha ila anta subhana ka ini kuntu mina dalamin la ilaha ila anta subhana ka ini kuntu mina dalamin la ilaha ila anta Subhanahu wa rabbika bilizati mi yasifun salamun ala mersalin alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin barakis min salihu 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 amin As-salamu alaykum wa nuh family Wa alaykum wa alaykum wa alaykum wa alaykum wa alaykum wa alaykum Masha'Allah. Blessed night. Salam. Peace and light.